All right, Kent Morrison, this is Jimmy Robbins coming to you from my living room in Colorado Springs. Just kind of wanted to do this. Will and I have been talking about doing this for the last, I don't know, a couple of months probably now. Well, not quite that long. But we wanted to uh, do a little video clip for you uh, to show you where your guitar ended up, number one. And number two, I thought I'd give you a little uh, viewpoint of some of my other instruments that I've been so blessed to get a hold of over the years. And so uh, I thought maybe I could play a little bit for you on the D35 that you have taken such loving care of over the years. And I am just so blessed to have this guitar. I can't tell you. It's just been a, a joy. And I, 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 I treat it with kid gloves. I, I haven't played it out in public, but maybe twice. But uh, all of that being said, I just wanted to thank you for being the conscientious man that you are and doing such a good job of taking care of it over the years. It's like a brand new, it's not even broke in yet, which makes it even more fun. But uh, I, I just thought we could play a little bit for you and uh, to, so you can get a chance to hear it. And then I can show you some of my other uh, instruments from my arsenal. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there, all right? <laughs> Sounds like a great instrument, plays like a champ. You, uh, again, you, uh, you know how to pick them, and you picked a beautiful instrument. And uh, I'm just very honored to have this in my possession now. I couldn't ask for a better instrument. Uh, I, I've been playing since about 1970, seriously since 1970. And I, over the years I have collected a few. I haven't collected as many, except when I've been out here in Colorado. Uh, I've done more trading and, than I've ever done in my life. I don't know if it's the air, the altitude, I don't know what it is. The first instrument I ever that was serious for me was this 1968 Epiphone Classical. It was about a $200 guitar. Uh, it's got the zero fret on it, so it wasn't a real high dollar. But it's what I started out on. I took Spanish classical lessons for about a year and a half to try to get my right hand going. Uh, and I've had it, uh, I, I play it from time to time, but not very often. Uh, I just bought this Larave, it's the L05, uh, mahogany back and sides, uh, beautiful little box. I bought this uh, last February, it'll be almost a year now. So I've had this for, it doesn't seem possible it's been that long. Time goes by very quickly, as I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> Uh, I have a 1975 Michael Gurian, Indian rosewood side and back. Uh, it's, a, it's the jumbo rosewood, a bigger side and back, a bigger box. Uh, I've changed the gears on it over the years, but I've never had it refretted. Uh, he had some very high rounded frets on this thing, and it's now just starting to have some fret wear. Amazing. But I've played this quite a lot. Uh, I've been blessed with this. I bought it in 76, it was built in 75. Uh, let's see, next year I have a, I hate to say this, but I have a Japanese made guitar. And this instrument I bought brand new in 1993. It's a N20, oh, EN20, I'm sorry, EN20. And I've played the way out of this box. I mean, I've just used it for all different kinds of indoor, outdoor stuff, uh, studio stuff. Uh, it's got the built-in built pickup on the system. It's not the real high dollar because it's back in 93, but it works. It works quite well. Uh, never had any fret work done on this, and I've played it quite a lot. 
So I think quality of frets, as you probably are aware, is a very important, very important item. Uh, now I get to my, my joys. I have a uh, 2007, this is the DC, DC-16 GTE. Simple, uh, fairly wide box with a built-in pickup, obviously. Uh, mahogany, dreadnought shape with a cutaway, obviously. I'm telling you things you can see. I've already put new frets on it. Uh, I've got new bridge pins that are ceramic bridge pins. New gears. I've played it a lot and I've worn it out so quickly that I can't believe I've gone through frets like that. And the same thing with the other little Martin that I have. I've replaced frets, gears, twice on this one. Uh, the new synthetic bridge pin. This is the MC Mahogany 